If you're new to investing, make sure you watch this whole video. Now, I am not going to go the route of stocks as well as savings, as well as doing something that normal people would probably say is the right path, but I'm going to give you the one percenter path on how you're going to actually use your money. So you got to remember money is a tool to actually get you ahead in your life, in your lifetime. I have built uh, businesses and sold them for exponential growth in my life to scale me up further and faster time and time again. So I'm going to give you what's worked for me, essentially, that you can take right out the gates where you don't have to spend over 20 years in learning and testing. This is what I would do starting at day one. In fact, this is what I even do now. <laughs> like, so it's not even like starting like day one. It's really like my method and methodology and everything I do in investing. So you can use this even as a more advanced investor. Maybe you have already some investments, maybe you already have uh, some stuff that you do. This is more of a mindset uh, and a method than a method to actually grow with whatever you got. If you have zero, then it's growing with zero. If it's a hundred bucks, if it's a thousand, it's a hundred thousand, it's a hundred million, it doesn't matter. All right. This is really like a, a method that you can use at every level and use it consistently over and over and again. It is a system. All right. So this is what I recommend as well as what I do is you have to invest in yourself. Okay. So with whatever resources you have available, if it's, you have to trade uh, service for service, if you have to trade, um, like, it, like go to the library and pick up books, <laughs> like whatever you have to do to learn about whatever it is that you want to generate income from, you take the time to do that. Now, of course, the quickest way to do this would be to get into a course or get a coach to, to actually lead you down to their method on how to generate income from whatever you're trying to learn. And there is a million ways to make a million dollars. A million ways. There are so many ways to make a million dollars. There's so many ways to make a hundred million dollars. There's so many ways to make a billion dollars. There's so many methods um, in math to get to the same uh, conclusion at the end. So you don't have to think of this as like, I have to do it this way because it's never the case. All right. So again, you're going to have to figure out what it is that you want to do. All right, this could be for your lifetime or maybe just in this season of life that you're in. And look at that light is like pouring right into my face right now because it's coming through my door. All right, let's try to adjust it just a tad here. All right, let me get it a little bit closer. Okay, I think it's good right there. All right, so again, you want to make sure that whatever it is, you have a reason for doing it because that's what's going to keep you motivated and growing that thing, that thing that you're doing. All right. So first and foremost, what's your goals? <laughs> like, what are you doing? And then from there, you're going to have to have the resources to learn about it. So you're investing in your education first and foremost. Now, this isn't education that you get from a school. This is an education that you already learned because you had to learn. This is education for your life. Okay. This is education that you're going to grow into and learn and expand on to actually get you more skills to make you more valuable as a person. And that is essentially it. Like from there, once you already have those skills, you're going to go ahead and follow that method and invest more into that. So you're going to invest more into your knowledge. You're going to invest more into the marketing. You're going to invest more into your community, into the people that you serve. And when I mean community, I mean community that has to do with that thing that's going to generate your money, <laughs> like, not something totally off. You're, and you are going to solely focus on that. How can you better yourself? How can you better your service? How can you better yourself? How can you better your service? How can more people get to know about you and your service? And from there, you're going to spend money on your marketing. So PR, you're going to spend money on advertisement. If you, if you want to go down that route, you don't have to, there's social media and it does an excellent job at, uh, being your, your marketer. Uh, you can even then hire people to do that for you. But essentially my biggest success in life has always been, what am I doing? What am I building? 
And how can I put money into my education and learning that quicker so I can start reaping the returns? And then from those returns, you are going to keep reinvesting. Of course, you're going to have to live off of some of the returns. Obviously, that is always going to be there. So from there, you just got to make sure that you are essentially building it to where you're putting more money into that investment and less money into your day-to-day -day lifestyle. Of course, at first, it's going to be very, very very disparaging on what you can put back into the business, especially if you have no other options of maybe, maybe you can't live at home, maybe because you have a family already, maybe because, uh, you know, life circumstances doesn't make it to where you just have another job or something, you know, but you've got to first and foremost, find any way possible that you can learn as much as you can about the industry that you want to move in and just be the person that knows all about that industry, be the person that can coach on it, can teach on it, that can sell programs around it, that can sell uh, the product. So anything that you can to uh, further your sales and marketing skills in that particular industry and know the product or service really well will essentially keep generating you money for the rest of your life. And then when you are ready to pivot, then you can either sell off that asset, whatever you made, uh, and then move on to the next thing and then invest in something bigger. But essentially it all is to do with bettering yourself, improving yourself time and time and time and time and time again. And that is the key to long-term investing. That is a key to short-term investing. That is a key to everything in life. And I've been an entrepreneur for over 20 something years now. I've, only, I've lost count after 20 years. So since I was 19, I've had my own business and it's changed and evolved over the years. I've retired for a short bit of time after selling uh, one of my businesses and raising my family to, you know, totally pivoting my career path, you can say, and starting up totally different businesses that I've never done before, never uh, thought I would do before. So again, it all came back to investing in myself. What is the keys that somebody else has? What is that knowledge that somebody else has that I can go buy a book, go, buy, go get to the library, rent, like borrow all 20 of their books about the thing and absorb as much as I can. How could I get uh, sales in that in that particular field faster, uh, learn marketing, learn sales skills along the way, particularly if there is a sales and marketing course around that particular thing, then that's even better. But if not, sales and marketing in general is going to serve you in anything that you uh, essentially do. But you have to invest in yourself first and foremost. It's the only thing you can rely on. From there, when you have the extra money and cash to in your re investing a lot of that profit back into your business instead of living on it and it's on your essentials like your food your clothing your housing and all that stuff then when you have enough for that as well as enough for your business to continue to thrive and grow then what you're going to do is essentially give your money to other organizations to actually benefit on and grow out as well. And in that, you can also have uh, money offer charity and other things that definitely make you happy or are different things that you want to like try out, like maybe a side company that instead of your main company, you want to grow in another vertical of that company. You can allot a certain percentage or a certain amount of money for that project as you grow. But I hope this uh, helps you. And I know it's definitely something that you probably weren't expecting in this video, but definitely your biggest success is you in life. And you've got to spend more time and money on that investment, which is yourself, the most important one. Take care, guys, and I'll talk to you on the next video.